been of signing that first long-term deal, do you like it? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm super excited. Obviously, this is the, the place I want to be. Um, last, what, I think we're in year four now total here. Um, I've loved, uh, loved all my time here and um, starting to feel like home. So happy to, to stay here and um, be your only group of guys and, and keep moving the needle forward. When you talked about signing the one-year deal over the summer. You said you don't really get too involved in the negotiation side. When did you kind of get looped into this particular deal and know that it was kind of moving along? Yeah, the last uh, week or so, things kind of uh, picked up steam a little bit. Um, started talking a little bit more and kind of happened uh, pretty quick. But uh, obviously, like I said, this is a place I, I was wanting to stay in. Um, I think I told you that earlier in the year, too. This is a place I could see as see home for a long time. So, um, you know, I'm happy that uh, we were able to, to find something that worked and uh, I'm able to stay here. Mikey, uh, before last week that you talked about in terms of things picking up steam, um, was there any, even with Rob or whatever, in, informally, was there any understanding kind of made that you'd eventually be taken care of whatsoever after obviously signing last September, signing, signing the, the short deal? I mean, the, the thing with last year was trying to just be able to, to get through the year. Um, obviously, like I said earlier in the year, trying to build the resume a little bit more. Obviously, I'd only played basically a year and a half if you, if you take the COVID year as it wasn't uh, necessarily the full year. So um, we couldn't find something that worked out great. So if, um, from my standpoint, it was just trying to, to take one more year um, you know, play and uh, like I said, um, as a group, we've had a good start to the year and um, individually it helped pay off now. So um, we were able to find something that, that worked out now. But um, yeah, coming from last year, it was just, like I said, just trying to have the, the one year and um, keep building and uh, led, led to here. So I'm happy with it. It's life changing money, other than buying Drew dinner now. Because <laughs> you only know Drew gets, uh, making you money. Like, how does this change your life? House, new car, what are you going to do with the money? Yeah, that's a great question. I think Dewey owes me a few dinners first. I'm still waiting. I think we've only had one. So, um, no, uh, yeah, obviously now it's um, being able to, to be here for, for eight years. It's nice and uh, maybe start looking at a house, um, you know, kind of try and make, make that transition a little bit more from, you know, just being here during the year. Maybe this becomes home for, for the time being. Um, obviously that's stuff that'll, that'll work itself out, but not too worried about uh, any of that right now. You had a chance to talk to your folks yet? Yeah, I talked to them. Uh, talked to them yesterday, whole family and everyone. So they were all all super excited. What did you think of? Um or who's behind the green jersey today? And that's, what did you think of that? that's a great question. I came downstairs from workout and I was sitting in the stall. I looked around for a black one and uh, Shorty and Grange and Dana, they said they couldn't find any more. So I just threw it on and uh, stuck with it. But no, it's, uh, it's good fun. Well, that was your choice? Or, uh, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't try to find another black jersey. We couldn't find any. Okay. Uh, couldn't, couldn't find any. So I just threw it on and uh, yeah, worked out. I didn't know somebody was playing a joke. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they, the, sure uh, they were. The so of the day. Yeah, sure they were. But yeah, all the black jerseys disappeared for. Well, they'll be back tomorrow, though, I'm sure. <laughs> Like you're the longest contracted member of the LA Kings right now. Is it kind of weird to hear that or, or say that when you look at everyone who's in that room? Yeah, I mean, you, you, it does, doesn't feel like that ever, considering the fact that you got Quickie and Kopi, all those guys that have been here for their whole career. Um, but obviously, we, we've got a, a great group of, of young mm -hmm. core players. Um, I'm just happy that I get to, I get to be here with them um, for the time being. and continue to uh, keep moving the group forward and, and try and, you know, get back to where those guys were uh, 10 years ago. You guys with Juice, Trevor Moore, guys like that, I follow, right? they've all signed kind of longer term here. Do you feel like you're kind of in that secondary core group with those guys, even though you are a little bit younger than them? Yeah, and I've, I've been lucky that I've gotten to learn from all of them, um, you know, especially in the back end with Roy and Wax. Um, those two in particular are kind of that next core. Um, but coming in, they've they've treated me super good since the, the day I got called up. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy I get to learn from them. And then obviously you've, you've got Drew and Eddie um, and even Ole the last couple of years too. So I've had a, a good group of, of defensemen that I've been able to learn from. Um, and now it's trying to uh, um, take what they've given me and try and help uh, start doing it back a little bit and, and help out the group from, from everything I've learned from all of them. Who knows, uh, who knows what the long-term future holds or things off in the distance or whatsoever, but what do you think of the suggestions or the conjecture that you could be a future captain one day? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be pretty cool. Obviously, I've 
um, been fortunate enough to have uh, leadership traits kind of everywhere I've gone. Um, and like I said, I've had that great core of uh, older guys to learn from my first couple of years, and then even the, that secondary core now. Um, and kind of getting grouped in with the, those guys, it's uh, you know still learning from all of them, but trying to you know implement some of the the ways I like to lead uh, with into the group and um, try and contribute any way I can with that. And I know I have the ability to set something um, in the future, try and, and keep adding. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, wherever it goes, it goes. But uh, just trying to to do my part to try and help uh, help the group and and keep uh, growing as a as a team organization. When you see what Team, the ownership, management has done in the last couple of years. The players that they've added now that you're committed here for a long time. What do you feel that your team needs to get to that next step? I mean, I think I think we've, like you said, we've been taking steps every every year. Obviously, we've first couple. My, my first year was uh, not always the best, and then you add in a, a couple other guys that are probably a little more established, and um, you know now we're implementing. You know, some of the younger guys get in, and everyone's kind of taking the next step, but. Um, you know, as a group, I think we've been moving the right way. Uh, coming back from break, obviously, we've had, had two good games uh, to, to kick things back off. But, um, yeah, I think, I think we're close. It's just making sure we, we continue to uh, do the right things night in, night out, every day at the rink, um, keep pushing each other to, to try and get better and not really get complacent with what we've been able to do and, you know, try and worry about the next game. And, um, you know, every day is a, a new challenge and try and just keep growing. You guys are in a good spot right now, obviously a very competitive spot in a very competitive conference. Just how, much, how much will you be an interested party in what Rob may or may not do over the next few weeks? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's, it's his job is to try and um, you know throw together a roster that they think is, is best for the organization. Obviously we don't have any control on that. So, um, you know, as a group we, we show up every day and we try and, you know, do the work, whatever we can do to to get wins, obviously we're we're in a spot like you said where where we control our future right now as uh, as a group, and it's just coming to the ring trying to to get wins, and um, you know as long as we're winning, things are going to go go the right way. But uh, whatever they got to do, that's that's their choice. I mean, we're not involved with anything that goes on like that, so uh, we put our heads down, come come to come to the rink, and, and get to work every day, and, and try and keep getting better. Mike, just uh, um, off the. Have you played Riviera Country Club? By I have not. I really yeah. want to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's because of the tournaments coming up. Yeah. yeah. I just wonder, what in LA have you played that you really think is you know something that is special? Yeah. That's the one I've I want to yeah. go. I think me and Kopi tried going one time, but uh, something happened where I think it worked out. Uh, last year we went to uh, Sherwood Country Club. That's okay. I enjoyed that one. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think that might be the the best one out here so far that I've been to. I haven't been to a whole lot of the the private clubs. Got to make some more friends. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've heard. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've I've gone and we watched or went last year. I went a couple years ago too. It's yeah. it's gorgeous. It's a little different. Yeah. You know, you That's what I heard. I was gonna say all the tour guys say it's the their favorite course to go play. Yeah. Uh, LACC private. Yeah. Yeah. Tougher than I think Riviera. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, just well, more old school. Old yeah, school. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No congratulatory texts from uh, Sid Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. Okay.